So, um, how are we just doing the parade of the tech? My name is Martin Hoxie. I work for the Association for Learning Technology, which is a membership organisation based in the UK. Um, we have uh, close to 2,000 members now, so we're almost there. So, one of our big main, main income uh, events is a, an annual conference, which we run once a year in September, uh, usually the first couple of weeks of September. Uh, it's for 500 people over three days, um, so it's a big income event for us. And we use um, silly event for the bookings, but one of the challenges we, we've got is that um, you know, how, how do we monitor the event from year to year in terms of performance of bookings? And so, um, the problem we've got is that we want to, um, obviously you can go into a uh, survey report and pull out uh, data. I should say, say at the top, this is not an extension. This is us extending SIVI in a slightly different way, which will, uh, will be revealed very shortly. So, the goal is to get something like this where we're on a, a daily basis, we can actually see how we're doing booking wise uh, from the data at SIBI. So, as I mentioned, uh, you can obviously uh, go into SIBI report uh, and generate uh, a CSV. And, um, and I'm sure there's a million and other one ways of doing this, but for us, just dumping this into a Google spreadsheet is quite straightforward. Um, we're a small team, so we haven't got lots of uh, developers and support. So using a spreadsheet means that uh, most of our staff can do something with the data. And if you get to uh, work with some of the, the formulas available on spreadsheets, you, we can normalize the data uh, with a, a weak offset. We can work out if it's a full or a part booking. And then we can actually you know, graph some of that data as well. So, um, so if you've ever used uh, the mail report, so this is you know getting uh, reports, survey reports into your inbox. Uh, this is from the documentation, so that uh, if you're familiar with it, you can add a uh, a query to uh, the URL you hit for sending the job to to send a, a CSV document. Um, so what we wanted to do was actually automate this in terms of um, getting the CSV and automatically updating the spreadsheet for us. And uh, we don't like, we're a small team, we haven't got people that can do this every day, so our solution was to use a product called uh, Google Apps Script. Who has heard of Google Apps Script before? Yes, me! <laughs> Brilliant, all two of you. Google Apps Script is part of Google Drive, it's, it's free, it's a web-based, it's a cloud-based programming language, so if you use Google Spreadsheets, Google Documents, or Google Forms, you've, and you didn't know about Google Apps Script, it's been sitting there the whole time, and it's in the Tools Script Editor, is where you access it. The IDE, so where you enter your code, is in the cloud as well. The brilliant thing about Google Apps Script is you can set up little scripts to run when, when often and how often you want you don't need to be at the browser. So if you want to send a report every 7 o'clock in the morning every day, you can set up a script to do that. The other great thing about Google Apps Script is because it's part of Google Drive, it's already authenticated. So it knows what you have access to in terms of um, uh, documents and uh, forms and sites. As well as that, it also knows uh, some of the uh, access you have to other Google services. For instance, Gmail. So if you want to write a script that reads your Gmail and do something in a spreadsheet, it's a couple lines of code, right? And this will run anytime you want. And so that's exactly what we did. So the first headache was actually 
uh, creating a, a spreadsheet that we shared within our office that uh, so the first column there is the instance ID so if you've created civil reports before you get an instance ID we put that in the first column we, we the, the user can then select from a drop down how often they want this report to run and then they have the option of uh, pinging out a CSV and if they provide a spreadsheet ID and a sheet name that CSV will be read from uh, uh, the Gmail inbox parsed and put into a Google spreadsheet and we can set this to run as often as we like so um, we can actually and the reason how we're doing this is actually using the, the fact that um, Civi includes a, a usefully includes the report URL in the email so we can search through our inbox for that URL uh, and parse out the CV I'm going to show you code because I'm a bit of a developer and I like doing that and I want to show you how easy this stuff is. So to get my inbox threads, uh, Google Apps Script has a Gmail app service, one line of code. To get the threads from the messages that we've returned in the search, uh, we get messages, one line of code. To get the attachments uh, with that message, we get attachments, one line of code. To get the data of those attachments as a data string, one line of code. Can you see where this is going? To parse the CSV we got back from, uh, from our attachment, one line of code. Utilities parse CSV is a, another built-in function of Google Apps Script. And then to actually write this to a spreadsheet is actually three lines of code. Uh, but that's it. And it's all authenticated. Google knows who you are as a user. So once you've run through the authentication once and approved Google to be able to do this with your data, you don't need to worry about it again. <coughs> so we can dump data into a spreadsheet, have some nice formulas, and we can get our graph. <coughs> Google Apps Script can also send emails. So we can take the graph image from the spreadsheet and just send that to our inbox. So that's a really kind of clunky way of doing things potentially for de developers. They're thinking, why doesn't you just hit the API? Well, in Google Apps Script, this is a, a screenshot of the, the editor we, we use. Um, I've started a Google Apps Script li library for uh, CRM, so this will interact with the CRM API. Because you're authenticated in your Google account, if you're providing uh, API keys, those keys go with your project. So if you start a new spreadsheet, you don't have to re-enter those again. You can just type CRM and then fill in what bit of the API you want. And it can potentially get even easier with um, Google Apps Script, because Google Apps Script allows you to write add-ons. You can write add-ons for Sheets, and some people have already done this for Google Analytics. So you can have control of a custom sidebar where you can expose data that you want people to interact with and it will dump it in the spreadsheet for them and it will update the data in the spreadsheet for them. So you can find out more about this. I've written about how uh, that very simple report sending script is available. So if you want to go and play with that, you can. Uh, and there's some more bits and pieces there. <coughs>